Okay, here's day two of my Bouge RV. 180 watt panels. I have two of them, so that's 360 watts. It's uh, 1242. We're in good sun. You can see I've got a few scattered. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Up there, we got a few scattered clouds here and there. But I decided I'm going to try something a little different today. There's my shadow straight in front of me. And let's see how this thing is performing today. Oh my gosh, we're only at 123. Oh, that's because we're losing the sun. Okay. Losing the sun, so it's going down. Earlier I had a, again, I had my uh, same value as I was getting yesterday. About 240. So yeah, now I'm in a shady period. So what I've decided to do is try something a little different today. I know yesterday I found out that it is definitely the 600 watt inverter. Apparently it's only 80% efficient. So by the time you take your 360 and you run it through this, I think you had to multiply it by 0.8 and then multiply it again by 0.9. I think the only possible outcome for me is to, out of 360 watts, is to get like 270. So today I've decided to break apart the system and just to test my Bouge RV panels, I am going to hook it up using this extension and hook it into this blue eddy. Now I got on, got in on the early crowdsource funding or whatever it was. Anyway, I got this unit. This is the ACP 200, uh, which has 15, 1700 watt hours. Anyway, I got this unit for $11.99. They since have upgraded it to 2,000 watt hours and put in Life PO4 batteries. But I have one of the original. I haven't used it, but just a few times it's been in storage. But I've got 100% battery life on it. So I'm going to drain this down to about 80 and uh, then hook up those solar panels and uh, see how it does. And what a way to drain it down but to use this heater that should do it okay I've got it turned up in full it says it's supposed to be 1500 watts but it's not quite there on the blue eddy definitely kicking out a lot of heat looks like it's drawing it was up to 1200 watts and my battery's starting to go down so I'll just let this run until my battery gets down to about 80%. Okay, got my Blue Eddy outside hooked up to this heater. And I'm going to let that run down. And I was wrong when I looked at this thing. The sun is shining now. I'm actually doing a little better today. I'm up to 266 watts. When I showed you that earlier, I was on the voltmeter. So that's why I was showing 123 or whatever I was showing. So I'm actually doing, I'm doing much better today. Wow, that's even better than I did yesterday. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. 270, I think, is what it said I could do. So I'm feeling pretty good. Now Now that I'm getting my Blue Eddy going and stuff, it's starting to get hazy. It's starting to get cloudy. See, it's starting to get a little overcast. So hopefully I'll have a break when I get the Blue Eddy Okay, here up. we go. So I was getting about 250 off of that. I've disconnected the inverter. And I ran off the in-series Bouge RV 180 watt panels. Got them running through 10 gauge. Unfortunately, that's a 30 foot cable, but and I brought the Blue Eddy inside where we can see the uh, interface a little bit better. And let's see if we can pull 300 watts of out of those. You can see I've got the coming into the side and into the blue eddy. I do have it set on PV um, as opposed to 12 volt. And now we just have to wait for the sun. Right there is about 256, 258, 240. So that's more than I was getting on the other. Let's see if this uh, inverter is more efficient. I'll wait for the sun to pop up and try to catch you uh, with some higher wattage input values. You see I also bled down the blue eddy down to uh, 
Well, I thought I bled it to 80%, but it's actually at 79%. So uh, we'll see how we do on this one. Well, one thing I do notice, I'm not getting the huge dips that I was getting in the other one. The other one would run 240 or 250 consistently and then dip down to like 70. Where the, I don't see the big dips in this one. I mean, this one's running over 200 pretty consistently, 200 watts. And I'm still waiting for the sun to peak out, so uh, I'm hoping we get that up to 300. I believe this particular Blue Eddy, you can charge up to 700 watts input. Um, my plan is to get a couple more solar panels up there as well. So I'll try to catch this when the sun is out good and strong and see if I can get pull a reading off of it for you. Okay, I just saw a 286 pop in there, so I wanted to record it. You know, I would have to pick a day when the sun's not out, wouldn't I? There's a 283, a 285, a 280, so I'll keep an eye on it. Well, I was wrong. It's pretty cloudy now, and you can see I'm pulling about 110 off of it, so still waiting for that sunshine to come out. All right, all right, all right. Okay, now I got it hooked up to the Blue Eddy. I got a nice sunshiny skies. It's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and... Uh, Show you my shadow. And let's go inside and see what the Blue Eddy's doing. So this thing consistently has been doing about 235 through the inverter. And let's see if the Blue Eddy with the MMP technology is going to pull in more. 270, 271, 262. So I was getting pretty consistent. Now let me go ahead and hook the inverter back up and we'll see how we're doing on the inverter. But you can see there in the sunshine, consistency 270, 268, somewhere in there. So we're definitely doing better with this one. All right, let me hook the other one back up. Okay, and now we are hooked back up to the inverter. Let's uh, come over here. And See what we got through the inverter. Okay. One sixty. Oh wow! 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 Oh, what am I thinking? Still climbing. Okay, forget the wows. <laughs> I was thinking two, uh, 270 when it was showing 170 and then 200. So now, uh, again, bright sunshiny day. We're getting 234 out of there. And then I'll switch over and show you the Sense Smart Plug 2. So you can see the difference here between the 234 watts on the uh, kilowatt meter uh, versus the uh, Sense meter. Uh, about 234 on the sense meter. Here we're about 237, but on the Blue Eddy, what were we? I'll have to go back and look at the video now. Wasn't it 268, 270? So there's definitely uh, quite a bit of difference. So that's my final recap on several things. On the sense smart plugs, which I think are awesome. The uh, not sense. Let me take that back. Emporia smart plugs. Man, they're awesome. The uh, $89 grid tie inverter from Amazon. And my Bouge RV 180 watt panels up on the roof there. And then lastly, my Blue Eddy AC 200. It's not the P. It's the 200. So that is uh, that's the difference between using the Blue Eddy with those solar panels and using that that inverter. So I hope this helps somebody out there. My plan is to add two more panels to the roof out there in the gazebo. I'm actually going to be adding uh, 
Rich Solar Poly 100 watt cells. I'm going to add two of those. So we'll uh, give you an update later on to tell you how that goes. Thanks for watching.